Welcome back guys! We are now ready to complete the journey in Dragon's Dogma. I do hope that you are officially ready to complete this final chapter of the experience because I have been waiting my whole life for this. Well, not really. I've been waiting my whole life for Dark Souls 2, but that's a different story. So, this is part 60 of the expert walkthrough for Dragon's Dogma, and we are now going to go fight the final boss and unlock the true ending of this game. So here we go. Yes, at last. At last you've gathered the whole of them. With them, you can summon forth a rift of considerable power. This rift, born of the Wakestone's power, will guide you forward, Arisen. But I fear there will be no returning to this place. Are you prepared to journey on? Okay, now make sure that you are completely sure you want to go. If there's stuff you have left to do, I'm, I mean anything at all, it is over at this point. I know I have quests left in Bitter Black Isle, but I can finish those in my new game. <laughs> and that's all I care about. So, I am totally ready to beat this game. This has been 60 parts of Dragon's Dogma, and we are officially there. It has been hard mode. It has been infuriating with constant deaths absolutely shit drop rates not getting anything I ever needed or whatever I don't even want to know the state that my Risen's brain is in because of all the mushrooms that I ate oh man this has been a seriously crazy journey so with that we are ready to continue end this Arisen may the world be put right by your hand thing left to do is jump Let's see what level does that put us at Wow exactly level 101 irony <laughs> well geez all right this is going to be a pretty intense fight I hope you guys are ready Whee! The Seneschal's Chamber. Alright. Well met, Arisen. I'll not waste time on rhetoric. Defeat me, and take my place as Keeper of this world. saw it awaiting you at the end of your descent. Aye, the same world you've traveled to arrive at this place. A world you may well now inherit. It is a simple proposition, no different than any you've faced. You need only the will to claim what is offered you. To survive. Okay, now this first part is simple. Yes. Fight arisen, as you air have fought in coming here. So essentially he just kind of goes what through random dialogues like that and what just kind of babbles at you, are. nothing that important. But this What's is the Seneschal, and this first trial you? is really easy. All you gotta do is kinda hit him a little bit. He teleports and he sends like a wave of light at you. Nothing Tis crazy. Delicious. That's how much help he has. Pretty simple. You are here because you willed it, Arisen. So I guess now you just gotta wait till he's done talking. After you do enough damage. Potential. 
Just as you call forth pawns, so I command all life into existence. Call it divine creation if you must, but expect none of the mercy men seek in their gods. This is cold truth, the unbending reality of a world without compassion. The world and all its denizens are but empty vessels. In that regard, no different than the pawns. Without volition, there is no true life. The world falls stagnant, dead as an ocean with no current to guide it. That volition is tempered by the struggle for survival. The decision, just like yours, to fight. Just as the pawns need a master's command, so the world thirsts for the will to live. Let us continue, Arisen. Show that you are more than an empty vessel, animated by forces unseen. Show that the temper of your soul is strong enough to command far more than mere pawns. Show that your I guess you can't pick him up. To bind the fraying circle of this world and hold it fast. Fight tooth and claw. Mm, got an arrow in your face, dude. And cling to life. Show that living holds worth enough to fight for. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can't grab him. Oh well. It is time to decide. Will you claim your right as a risen? Or shrug the burden and seek peace in oblivion? Just so. One foot after the next, come what may. That is what it means to live. Turn back now and I will grant you a merciful death. The choice is yours, Arisen. Yours alone. Tis a simple choice, Arisen. Step forward or retreat. Accept the quiet emptiness of a false peace, a false life. Okay, so here's what we do. We can either go backwards, and it'll basically be end game, you know, we'll die. It's game over, just like with the dragon, if you choose to give up your love interest, you lose and have to start over. Same thing will happen right here, if you decide to go back now, you will just lose. It'll be a false ending. But, moving forward, he's going to send you through trials of people that you met in the game, and they're going to give you dialogues that suggest that they never liked you or cared about you. Sort of like, uh like a false reality nightmare, and they will attack you. Why not put an end to it? The praises of the quiet life are sung far too infrequent. Shut up, Mason. You suck, man. And that's why you have an arrow in your head. It only takes one shot to kill him. That's the dragon forged. That's Salamant. Well, okay, now you don't care. I get it. Go. There is naught to be gained from my words now. Indeed, heed no voice but your own. Now, find his dialogue to be the most interesting out of all the people you walk past. You're not without a home to return to. Why? What is it drives you so? <laughs> what are you gonna do? What the fuck are you gonna do? You little piece of shit. My, my! It is too great an honor for one of my stature. Oh no, it's Duke Edmund Dragonsbane. 
What are you gonna do, man? What can you do? That's the question. I mean, what can you do? Oh. Let's see, who's this? Julian? Why is this hesitation, sir? You've ought to protect, do you not? I do. Come on. Or not. This, this is your answer, then. Yep. Uh oh, it's really old, Edmund. <laughs> Just as like you would turn a deaf <laughs> Instead, I ask only that you keep us in mind now and again. <laughs> Adero. Oh! So we got the Elysian right here, too. That's an interesting... I wonder why he was fighting, like, the old... Uh, Edmund. That was kind of weird. No, Celine. I love you. You're my favorite. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna put you somewhere safe. Is that a knife? Is that a knife? What? Is that a knife? <laughs> and now she acts casual. Like, I wasn't gonna stab you, I swear. No, you're not very good at hiding it. Oh well. Goodbye. I loved you, okay? Don't even act like I don't care. I loved you. I gave you that ring. We were supposed to be intertwined forever. God. You hit like girls. Uh oh, Kina. No, it didn't work. Uh oh, Saxton. I stressed it very heavily that I didn't care about you. And I don't think that has changed at all. So. Okay, so, that is Savin. He is the Arisen from the beginning in the tutorial. This is the final fight. This is the part where they can actually hurt you. But because I'm overpowered, we killed him that fast. Now, when your pawn holds him like that, this is your chance to do the final blow. But that attack is going to kill you. <laughs> So, I probably shouldn't have talked, I should have just done it, but, yeah, this is the, the false ending. If you die against the Seneschal, you turn into the dragon. That is the harsh reality of this game. The dragon is simply a fallen arisen who was defeated by the Seneschal and set upon the world to maintain the balance between good and evil. So that essentially is why the dragon knew so much about us, 
That is why he was so educated on our fate and our capabilities. It is because he was an Arisen just like us, and he knew that we were going to find the truth. And that has nothing to do with hard mode either. If the Seneschal hits you with that attack, it's over. So you have to take whatever chance you get to, uh... Yeah, the, the. Retry. You have to take whatever chance you get and, uh, attack him when your pawn holds him like that. And you do get a trophy for that, but I necessarily don't... I don't necessarily care about that trophy. Not... Not hunting for the platinum or anything. You are close now. So very close to me. Come, Rose. I shall meet you on your own terms, joined by my own companions of old. You stand now at its end, Arisen. See your journey through. Oh, if you only knew how different it was going to be. <laughs> You Temper like your bitch. soul in its heat. In forge of my right. heart Here we go. Grab him, Valerie. Grab him. We must be cautious. Grab him. Cold and empty for all its beauty. And go. My life is yours, master. Arisen, forgive me. All I've done is to test your will. It is the fate of all Arisen. You and I are swept up in the current, same as the rest. Each tempers the volition of the next, and the endless cycle continues. And so, until the coming of a new soul fit to craft the will to live, someone like you. Until that day, may you guide the world ever justly. Present you with the God's Bane Blade. Those who arise to oversee this world are undying, save by this brand's kiss. I ask that you, as the world's new Sinisher, use it now. To vouchsafe freedom to your weary servant. All right. Now you can Somebody choose to kill him. Slivers of a world far more vast. Can I sit? Yeah. And you can sit. <laughs> the, the fire of my life is spent in guttering. Give me freedom with the kiss of the God's Bane Blade. If there is aught you wish to know for my death, you need but ask. Okay, so this is very important. If there was anything really that confused you, my knowledge as you my can knowledge. ask. You can ask, what is the Seneschal? How is the world what composed? What is eternity? What is will? 
I'm not going to go through these dialogues because they're, I mean, <laughs> they're all kind of tedious. They all have to do with the same thing, but... As you wish, Sinisha. Yours is the will that enturnish and air the newly arisen. Until that day, I am defeated. Pray. Yeah, okay. So we're going to kill him. We're going to kill poor Seven. Mourn me not. For I welcome the release. At long last, I am free of eternity. Of infinity. Free of the cruel, unending ring. Okay, so, we wrecked him, Mr. Savin, and now you have to live as the Seneschal, and you get the trophy called Mercy, so you can sit here, and you get to look at the world, and you get to be God, basically. So I'll show you guys what it's like. So you're pretty much invisible. You cannot interact with anything. Unless you literally pick it up. And nobody knows either. You can kill people if you want. And they don't know why. <laughs> they have no idea what's going on. You can go anywhere in Granzis that you want. So, um, let's run to Grand Soren real quick. You can't use items or anything. Well, actually, eh, you can't. Never mind. You can only go to Casterdis. And when you leave, that's that. So, you can do that. Or, you can use the God's Bane. And you can put away your life and start anew so that is the true ending of this game you do not have to stand here in this bleak lifeless boring place and be some kind of god spirit that just runs through walls and crap you don't have to do that you can end everything here with the god's bane and start a brand new game if you want and that's exactly what we're gonna do Any minute now. Like me, aren't you? As my grandmother gave me life, she gave you yours. 
they gave us death, and with it, true life. This is the world she wanted for us. You feel an odd pride as you plunge the god's bane into your chest, as if claiming a great victory. Finally, there is an end for your tale, one pen, penned by your own hand, no less. As your con consciousness fades into the black, you feel a peculiar sense on your lips. You are smiling. And I n Damn it. I never am able to read that fast enough. And when I try, it's like... I mean, in my head, I can read it fast enough, but it's like if I try to read it fast enough out loud, I stutter and mess up words, as you can see. Damn it. I hate it when that happens. I love the in-game credits, but yes, we are going to skip them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these in-game credits are so cool. Some of these pictures in this book are phenomenal. I've sat through it at least a dozen times. It's amazing. But we're going to skip it. Set of Duke's Clothing Acquired. Visit the storehouse in-game to access it. And we got a gold trophy. Closure for beating the game. Well, completing our playthrough. As you can see, based on all of these endings and twists and stuff, we've beat the game like 20 times. But we have finally completed a full playthrough. That's how I shall word it. And, uh... It'll start off just like before. Clear game data has been saved. Loading this cleared game will allow you to begin a new game. The items you obtained last playthrough will be available in item storage. Hell yeah. You do keep your progress as well. So, let's go ahead and fire that up. And, uh... Yeah. New Game Plus is not like Dark Souls. I don't think so, anyway. <laughs> it's not... It doesn't become as much more difficult as Dark Souls. I mean, the, the difficulty and the health and the experience and everything, it does increase just like Dark Souls, but it's not necessarily a new game plus. The level of difficulty does not enhance by enough to necessarily call it a new game plus. Launching in offline mode. I wonder why. I could have swore I was signed in. Yeah, I am. Okay. Maybe it's just because it started the game. You are previously clear you you have previously cleared the game. Begin a new game using the save data? Absolutely. Man, I'm so tired. I cannot read when I'm tired. <laughs> I'm ready to go to bed. And countless lifetimes come to pass. That is the dialogue that plays directly after the tutorial, if you guys remember. The delightful and ever novel pleasure of a useless occupation. By Henry de Rainier. And you guys have only seen this about a thousand times, so let's not... <laughs> Attacking others or being a nuisance will gain you nothing but enemies. That is so true, yet impossible to follow. Now, I want my Arisen to look like this. And your pawn, you can edit them again as well. Now, the interesting thing about this game is that once you beat it, if you beat it again, you will not fight Savin as the Seneschal. The Seneschal will become somebody different every time, and I find that fascinating. I've seen it as people in my friends list and their pawn before, which is really interesting.
I'm not gonna lie. My Risen, I think she had a really good endgame look. Hear ye, hear ye! The prophets have spoken, friends! The dragon's return is nigh! Join the honorable duke's ranks and help us be rid of the fell beast! The day's come to lay down rod and reel and take up the sword! I am level 101. I should be wrecking you right now. Climb, climb, climb. Yeah. So here we go in our brand new game.
I love how sinister he sounds when he says that. It's very intimidating. Alright. Well... Technically, I don't have to take a weapon because okay, I <laughs> I guess I'm a fighter by default. Um, we know that. Okay, I'll go with Strider. Yeah, we know what happens here. Come on, come on, come on. We know. I know where I am. Can't believe it gave me rusted shit. That's funny. That's really fun. <gasps> Celine. No, <laughs> she's gone. Okay, whatever. So this is a brand new game. This is not a continuation or anything. There's no twists or plot advancement or whatever from us beating the game. It is literally just like beat the game. <laughs> Okay. Um, I don't care about any of that shit. I don't want that. As you will. We are going. What? Oh, right. We are going to make ourselves look pretty. Now I got the Duke clothes. That's interesting. I really like the abysmal outfit, though. But it doesn't look as cool as what we wear. So, that we want. Well, I'll get it out just so we can look at it anyway. Give me my darkened gloves. Give me my half chain hosen. And my carmine breeches. And my beastly mantle. Give me. Obviously, my dragon blood and my virtuoso ring. As you will. Okay. Obviously, I want that. Um. Me, yeah, I'll go with these. Give me my badass eye patch. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is as dumb as it gets. Okay. Now that's the abysmal. Unequip that. This is the abysmal outfit. It is cool. Very cool. But ours has way <laughs> more defense. Um, there it is. Yeah, it doesn't look nearly as cool. Sorry. Our golden line padding is way cooler. Mm, yeah, looks way cooler. Um, ba -ba. gimme, 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 gimme. Oh yeah, that's the badass arisen I remember playing as. Where's my? Where's my rings? There they are. Yeah, 70 stamina. That's pretty damn good. As you will. What can I do you for? Alright. 
And, yeah, of course. <laughs> I've only got these skills. Alright, it's going to give us Rook. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care what you have to say, Adero. I killed you. Don't you remember that? Rook. I will never get over how he just looks like... He looks like a member of Blue Oyster Cult or something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That was Dragon's Dogma, guys. And, uh... Yeah, let's do it again! Just kidding. Um... <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me on this journey. That was fun. I'm so glad I actually finished my playthrough of the game this time. That was wonderful. Um, we need to go down here, actually. I have to show you guys something very special. Something that only pops up after you beat the game. And don't worry, it will stay here forever after you beat the game. Seabird! Oh, epic doge. <laughs> Gotcha! <laughs> Hello, Copper Phantom. You are now online. So, notice how when you go out here, there is now a purple rift stone. You can fight the Ur Dragon whenever you want. Now, depending whether or not you are signed into PlayStation Network or Xbox Live or whatever, will determine how hard he is. If you fight him online, you will not kill him. I promise. I don't care who you are. I promise you, you're not going to be able to kill him. You might be able to do a couple bars at best. If you fight him offline while you are not signed into the server, then he will have normal health bars and you will be able to kill him. But be forewarned, he is incredibly difficult. I will probably make a side video of me fighting him with this character later just to show you guys how much I can kick his ass. And yeah. We'll go from there. I probably won't upload that until about the 26th or something. Because on Christmas I'm going to be busy, obviously. Well, which is now. So, uh, yes. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this final playthrough of Dragon's Dogma. My first one, I don't know how far I got, but I got up to about Salamid, I think. And I gave up. It wasn't that great. But I'll take that. What is that? What was that? That weird shadow. Oh, well. Um... Yeah, so this was definitely an awesome run. I was very happy to do this game for you guys. I'm so glad I ended up getting through the new content without being terribly destroyed. I mean, you guys were around for that. It obviously gave me a run for my money, but at least we got through it. We did both endings. We did uh, the Seneschal, and we beat our entire playthrough of this game, and we look totally badass. I love the look of this Arisen. She looks, this is probably the coolest, I mean, I've gotten really creative with some Arisens in the past, but this is probably the coolest looking Arisen I've ever made. This armor combo is sick. She looks really cool. This is a very unique look. So, um, let's go ahead and take a, a family photo. There we go. Family photo time. Oh, well, I guess they're not going to have my ID. Say cheese, Riftstone! Alright. We now have an awesome screenshot to document the final, uh, the final image of our Arisen. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, again... From the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for joining me on this wonderful and just epic journey where we finally got our heart back and we finally started our brand new game. Fuck Saxton for being my love interest. And finally, fuck Festy, that little midget bastard that does nothing but spread unhappiness and frustration everywhere that he goes. I'm probably going to go kill him after I stop recording just for the 
sheer enjoyment of hearing him scream as I drive my blades into his collarbones and tear downward to his feet. Okay. Deep breaths. Thank you guys so much for joining me on Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. I'm so glad I was able to finish this playthrough for you guys. And look out for Demon Souls coming very soon your way. I'll probably upload that on the 26th or the 27th in a couple or a few days from now. It's coming very soon. And that I am excited for. Hopefully Demon Souls will last until... You know, close to March because Dark Souls 2 comes out on the 11th of March very beginning of the month hopefully we'll finish Demon Souls right at the beginning of March or so maybe a little bit before so I can catch a small break and uh, yeah that's going to be the last game I do until Dark Souls 2 so hopefully it'll last a decent amount of time you guys I love all of you to death Copper Phantom Tim Lewis just all of you guys all of you that comment, I could go on and name names after names after names. The list will go down, but unfortunately, I am out of time. So, one final thank you for joining me on Dragon's Dogma. It was a pleasure to do this game for you guys. It is hands down one of my favorite games of all time. I love this game, so it was incredibly enjoyable for me to do this for you. So, Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday, and uh, yeah. <laughs> This has been a very drawn-out end message, and I know I tend to yak a lot, but I mean it, guys. I'm being totally serious. I love all of you to death. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you for the subscriptions and the likes and the views and everything. I had no idea that this channel was going to grow this far this soon, and yeah, you guys, you're awesome. I know I don't have a legion of subscribers, but I have enough. I have enough to make me happy. I don't care if it's 100. I don't care if it's 3,000. People are watching, they're getting help from these videos, and we've got a good, we've got a good set of uh, people on here. A good community going on this channel. Everybody's nice and productive and positive with each other, and that is what I like to see on my videos. That is awesome. That was my entire goal from the beginning, was just to be helpful. So, one final thank you before I go. Thank you guys so much for joining me on Dragon's Dogma. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and uh, I will catch you all on Demon Souls.